Hello everyone, welcome back to our SQL interview preparation series. This is a third video in this series and let us get started without wasting much time. So if you have seen my previous video, we were discussing uh, you know, questions from uh, the very basic perspective. In this video, we'll continue our discussion and we'll start with the scenarios as well. So to continue uh, with the theoretical questions uh, no for now, uh, the first question uh, that is expected you know, uh, in many interviews is, no difference between your rank, dense rank, and row number. So often, this is most repeated question with respect to SQL and with respect to Tableau as well. You know what is the difference here? So the difference comes whenever you have a similar uh, salary or how do you want to name that uh, salary or how do you rank that salary okay when the salary is getting repeated so when you write a rank whenever you have the same rank it repeats like say one two two and then it skips okay like say instead of giving three it gives us four okay likewise if you use a denser rank Okay, if you use a denser rank, it will not skip. Okay, like say it will give one, two, two, and then it will give three. Okay, so that difference you need to remember in rank and dense rank, whereas row number simply generates unique number. Okay, so it's kind of index, we can say. Okay, so here simply you will get one, two, three, four. There is no concept of you know assigning a number based on the particular column that you are trying to select in this row number so it is row number here not uh, row index okay so that's how it uh, it works suppose you want to write a query same thing we'll try to do it uh, with respect to a table that we have i'm just trying to uh, run a query on uh, employee table okay so for now i'll take e name and salary i will take from my employee table to check what kind of results we have okay now if i just run it will give me some results right now i want to rank this okay and we will see how it works okay so i am giving let's say select okay e name comma salary and then how will i write uh, a rank statement here and then we'll write comma okay rank over i'm doing order by salary descending okay as simple i'm calling it as r1 okay comma same thing i just want to continue instead of because rank is a keyword i just want to use it for all the purpose here we'll just change it from rank this will become dense rank okay and uh, this will be our r2 and this will be our row, row number okay and this will become our r3 from employee table now let us see what will be the result here so now it generates ranks here you see for ford and scott our rank is getting repeated here right so now what did it give it repeated the number rank number but what happened the next number observe on the next number it skipped that number three it skipped this is for rank dense rank it did not skip whereas row number simply gave us the numbers here okay so that is your difference between rank and dense rank and row number very important question now sometimes in interview just he might ask you because you know this is all about partition he might ask you a question related to partition like say you know how will or you know what is partitioning 
and how does it improve the performance partition means what in general if you try to observe the you know the definition perspective partitioning will uh, partitioning will split a large table into smaller pieces based on column that you are trying to specify okay such as you know you want to split that based on date or a region so giving it only a particular set so that it can perform better so that is your partitioning concept okay now if at all i want to write an example on this or create a table on this how will i create okay so like say i want to partition it so that you know it does not i mean it is effective i will write create okay table of orders i'm trying to create okay and then what are the columns i'm trying to have in this maybe three columns i will have order id okay order id which is of integer type and then what i need order date so this would be of date type and then i need customer id of again integer type okay and then i'm closing the bracket here so this will be the three columns that we will be creating in this particular uh, table called as orders but i want to partition it by a range okay how i want to give year of order date remember order date is the column that we are trying to create Whoa. okay how do i want to create or how do i want to partition maybe for two years i want to create partition okay i'm just writing the name as uh, for uh, year for year 2022 I will write values less than 23. All that are less than 23 will be under a partition called as 23 or uh, Y2022. Same likewise, if I tell I want to create another partition, then I can write partition year 2023 values less than 2024 now this will create another partition okay so this table will partition by the year that we are specifying here you know creating efficient queries okay so now uh, next question might be uh, an interesting question that we might face that is what is the purpose of merge statement merge statement now we will see we have seen insert statement we have seen update statement we have seen delete statement likewise there will also be a merge statement now what this merge statement will do it will you know perform uh, i can say upsets upsets means it can insert update or delete based on the condition you are trying to specify so this is useful in synchronizing two data sets okay so remember this thing it is very you know interesting concept in sql maybe you can practice more whenever you uh, get an opportunity try to use uh, uh, w3 schools or whatever and then you can practice and then we have like say how will i write a statement if at all i want to write merge okay merge into employee or emp table using new emp table okay on i'm just trying to write e dot emp id is equal to uh so for this I'll write again E and this I will write as N because this is new and then I'll write something right uh, N dot EMP ID. Okay. So when matched, so when it is matching, then update set E dot salary 
is equal to n dot salary so what are we doing here whenever that employee id is matching we are updating the salary simple okay when it is not matching when not matched then i'm trying to insert so we can perform multiple operation here okay insert emp id comma e name comma sal values from new table i'm trying to insert okay n dot m e m p i d n dot e name comma n dot salary something like this i can insert now this is updating a record this is also inserting a record so this is your merge statement okay so now uh, this is your 30 second question that we have discussed till now uh, i hope you are learning next is how will you uh, how does SQL handle deadlocks and how they can be prevented? How does SQL handle deadlocks and how can they be prevented? So what is a deadlock situation? So whenever a deadlock occurs, two transactions are trying to perform a similar action on the holding resource. Like say, uh, SQL one is trying to update and one is trying to delete. So two operations we are trying to do on the same record. Then during that time, because both the resources are stuck on the same level, it performs a deadlock. I mean, it is in a deadlock situation. How, how can we you know, prevent a deadlock? We need to consider, uh, first of all, resources that are available. Okay. And then we can keep transactions short and uh, use row level locks okay so how can we so example of a potential deadlock is something like this okay update employees set salary is equal to salary is equal to salary plus thousand where employee is equal to employee ID is equal to one. So this is a potential deadlock example. Okay. Now let us go with the scenario based questions. Okay. So the first statement is how would you use the select statement with a where clause to retrieve specific data based on condition. Now this can be asked in multiple ways like write a statement using where clause uh, to retrieve the records okay how will you write a simple select statement okay so we can write a simple select statement something like this okay select i need list from department like say i'll just write first select uh maybe e name okay and department number comma salary from emp table i'm just running okay to check what is the record we have we got some records now i need some condition to write right maybe i need department 20 where department number is equal to 20 something like this i can write to perform the retrieval of records basing on certain condition likewise if at all i want to add a new employee called as John Doe to employees table. How will I create with a salary? So now interviewer will ask you to insert a record. How will you do or how will you perform an insert operation? Okay, insert operation is very, very easy. All you need to remember is your table structure. Table structure, columns that you have in that and then the order. Okay, so how can we write insert into EMP table? Okay, uh, and then we can write the columns like say ename, okay, comma, maybe department also I will write and uh, department number, comma, salary. Okay, so after this, insert into table name, specify the columns values 
what are the values that you want to pass we want to pass john we want to pass john and then what is the department maybe department 20 we are giving instead of hr i am giving department 20 and whatever the salary that you want to perform uh, you want to pass you can pass that so run this and the record will get inserted in the table okay clear till here if yes just you know please like the video and do share the feedback here now next is sometimes this kind of questions will also come how will you increase the salary of all employees in it department by 10 percent now very common statement here so this is a update statement now what is interviewer trying to test interviewer is trying to test whether you know the insert statements and whether is you know the update statement so how will you write update you know emp table set salary is equal to salary into 1.10 i'm writing okay simply we can write this so for which department it department where department number is equal to 18 something like this i can write okay so remember this again okay now if you know why did i write the salary is equal to salary into 1.10 do mention in the comment section if not let me know i'll explain why did i write 1.10 you know directly here in the next video so this is uh, an update example how will you delete all employees from hr department okay again very uh, easy sequel so delete from emp table where uh, department number or department name is equal to hr simple like this i can write okay so this will delete all the employees who are from it department okay so so that's about your this thing how will you uh, retrieve employees with salaries between 3000 and 6000 okay how will you delete and so how can i write a statement here okay select e name comma salary from emp table where salary is greater than 1000 i'm writing and salary is less than uh, 2000 i'm writing from okay, that's it okay so now if i execute this it should give us salaries within that range so what is important here how are you specifying this condition okay next is how will you uh, retrieve all those employees whose salaries is not this number okay so here we need to understand how we are using not equal to operator okay select again e name comma salary from emp table where salary is not equal to maybe uh, 1600 we will write okay which means we should not get allen right so allen should not be here that is the check okay that is how we can write the query so this all these queries are important okay now again uh, an easy question here how will you write or how will you retrieve the employees whose name is contains a okay very uh, easy question select e name uh, comma salary from emp table where e name like so it can be anywhere right so i can use percentage something like this okay so it will give me all the employees which contain a it can be a it can be at any place it can be starting middle or anywhere okay but it contains okay so this is how we can use so yeah that's it from my side in this video i hope you have learned something new see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day